Welcome to another Movecraft update. In this case, just a teaser. So, I've been working hard on the assault feature for Movecraft, and unfortunately, I was not able to finish it. You know, I worked on it all week, um, but, you know, it just took longer than I thought uh, and was not able to finish it. But, I'm going to show you what I already have, because uh, I want to make sure I get a video out every week, unless I absolutely can't do it, and I did miss one a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, I wanted to, even, uh, even though it wasn't done, I wanted to give you a video of what I've got so far. So, uh, here we are. Here's the, uh, the ship we're going to be using to test it. It's an uh, it's old-fashioned artillery ship. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of outdated technology at this point, but it'll do for our purposes. And uh, what can I say? I'm a traditionalist. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing it against Ultras Protected Airspace. I just copied the uh, the regions file from the survival server, so I'd be working with the actual regions file, and then added a few of these buildings. Well, there's not much here, obviously. Um, all right, so the first thing I want to show you is if I shell this, uh, and I've, I've taken out a whole bunch of propellant, like most of it, three-fourths of the propellant, so that I could hit something this close. Um, okay. Okay. And boom, and well, nothing happens, right? Because because uh, this whole region is protected from TNT, just like it is on the survival server. The only thing that would happen from me shelling a region on the survival server is Morton would log in and ban me. So um, uh, yeah. Uh, now on the other hand, if I go over here and I type slash assault info. It will tell me uh, about the region I'm standing in. You do have to be able to stand in the region. Uh, so obviously we can't block people from entering regions or this won't work. We'll deal with that later. But uh, And it tells me the name of the region. Uh, it tells me who owns it. I've added Tyler as an owner for testing purposes. And it tells me the maximum damages, the cost to assault, and whether or not I can actually assault it and why. In this case, the damage is 148,000. That's how much damage I can inflict on this region. Uh, and then the cost is 37,000. A bit more about this. It will not let me assault a region that I'm a member of. It will not let me assault a region unless there's a minimum number of defenders on. Uh, currently, it's going to be set to three. Um, on the test server, it's zero, because you know I'm the only one on the server. Um, and uh, also, I cannot assault a region unless I own a region that can be assaulted. And that also means that if someone assaults my region and destroys it, I'm removed as the owner and therefore can no longer assault others. So what that means to you is, if you're fighting a war with someone and you're sick and tired of their, them assaulting your regions, assault them right back and they won't be able to. Okay, so yes, uh, let's actually start the assault. So slash slash assault space, and you have to pull the name off of the uh, assault info up there. Altrus airspace, go. And by the way, it won't let you keep assaulting either. Um, it uh, you can only assault uh, on the server. We'll probably do like once a week. Uh, now, what I mean is every region. Every region can be assaulted once a week. Um, yeah, let's see. What else is there to say about this? Um, in order for a region to be assaultable, it has to have the TNT deny flag on it. Did I just see a cow in this church? There is. That is a holy cow! <laughs> I'm so funny! Anyway, um... So, uh, yeah, you, you can't... <clears throat> so what that means, it has to be basically the master region, like the big airspace, which has the TNT deny on it. All of the smaller regions typically don't have TNT deny on it. And if they do, then we need to get an admin to go in there and remove it for you. Uh, because I don't want people... Oh, there we go, it started. Um, I don't want people to have, like, this church thing in a separate region that can be assaulted in addition to the big region. And I, I, yeah, that's going to cause problems. Anyway, uh, so let's fire at this thing. And that should land just somewhere in the dirt over here. Okay, and you can see that, hey, now I can damage things. Oh, yeah. Nice big hole there. 
Uh, now let me show you something else. I'm now going to aim my guns at that windmill thing. Fire. And... There it goes. Boom. All right, now, I did some damage to it. You can see that, like all the cobblestone got, uh, got hammered. But the rest of it is fine. Huh, why would that be? So, this windmill is composed of a lot of bl blocks that are protected, like the wool and the wood and, and pieces like that. Why are they protected? Because they could be parts of airships. So this might be an airship docked here. And I can't let you destroy airships in these regions. Now, I know you're probably thinking, but that's exactly what I want to destroy. But there's a problem. Every block that you destroy, the plugin is going to eventually try to repair. When the owner of the, well, the previous owner, presumably, uh, when the owner comes back and says, oh, my region's been destroyed, I need to repair it. So he right clicks the sign it, it, and it does the repair. Well, what if there was an airship there and it was moved like you know it was there when the assault started so uh the plugin took a snapshot of it a schematic uh and then later they move it well it's going to try to repair that airship and put it right back where it was now you have two airships you see the problem so and it's not it could even be maybe they just move it a couple of blocks and it's still in kind of the same position now it's going to put the tail of the airship back you know on top of the existing tail, it's just gonna cause problems. So we can't have you destroying blocks that might be moving, and that means any craft. So all of the craft blocks have been removed. All right, uh, and then the other thing you may notice is every time I've fired, it has told me the damages. Uh, so, and it's cumulative. So, so this is, the first time I fired, I did 12,000 damage. Second time I fired, the damages increased to 19,000, so I must have done about 7,000. And you'll learn the quirks of how to deal maximum damage. Uh, it's, it's basically you want to destroy as many blocks as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, real quick. Okay, real quick. So even if I hit this, if I hit that windmill again, even though I've already destroyed all of the blocks I'm capable of destroying, it's still going to increase the damages. Because... It doesn't matter whether the block is actually destroyed or not. What ma- oh, I didn't. Uh, what matters is that it should have been destroyed. In other words, every block that is within a certain range of your cannon, of your shells, counts. So you know, I did a ton of damage there. Well, I guess not that much, 4,000. Um, even though no more blocks were destroyed than were a moment ago because it counts all of these. I can keep hitting it over and over and over again, and every time it counts. Oh, that's, that's funny. Uh, uh, one of the shells must have bounced off and hit something in the back somewhere. <clears throat> so you see how that works? Uh, so, so don't think that you could construct your base entirely out of wool and all of a sudden now it can't be damaged. No, no, no. It just, the, the, the visual effect changes. The actual damage doesn't. And I chose that windmill specifically because it was composed of a lot of blocks that couldn't be damaged, and I was trying to test things. Of course, realistically, most cannon or most buildings uh, are like this church over here, and they have an assortment of blocks. Some can be damaged, some can't. So don't think that you won't be able to damage things, because you will. You know, we'll be able to uh, put some good holes in things. Although it doesn't look like it did much to the church, does it? That's... I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And of course, every time I fire, those damages are going a little higher. We probably need to do some tuning there. Um... I actually thought more of that church would be damageable. Yeah, so anyway, there's a balance that has to be struck. I want warfare to be expensive. Um... But, uh, because, you know, there's way too much money on the server right now, uh, and we need something to soak that, manage that money up. Um, let's go back to shelling this. So yeah, I want it to be pretty expensive, both to the attacker and the defender. 
And that's realistic, too. I mean, warfare is expensive. Um, uh, but right now, I, get, I feel like this is a little too low. Like every time I shell this, that time I didn't get anything, you know, it's only increasing by a few thousand. I'm probably spending more on TNT than I'm actually causing in damage. Of course, a lot of that is I'm um, probably showing the um, parts. There we go, that's better. So yeah, we'll play with that, we'll play with that. It's all configured. That tree totally had it coming. But yeah, I think this will be fun. Uh, giving people a chance to actually blow things up, you know? I wonder if that church is partially within another region. I'll have to look at that. Well, no, that wouldn't be it because TNT would still be off. Yeah. All right, we've reached a hundred thousand. So, uh, so this is the part of the plugin that's actually done: is handling the explosions. Uh, setting up the event, the info is done. What is not done is repairing it afterwards. Uh, so we're going to have to kind of fake that a little bit. Um, but it, what it does, so, so the plugin saves a schematic, and that's working. Uh, there's a schematic of the region as it existed when you started shelling. So I can just restore that. Uh, restore that region. Uh, and the plugin's supposed to do it for you once it's done. It just does not do that yet. Alright, a few more shells should get me to the damage cap. Okay, one more I bet will do it. Let's get that tree again. Too much of it is still standing. Okay! Was that the cap? I don't even remember. It was 148,000. 148,683. 148,683. Okay! So I've reached the damage cap. If I keep firing right now, it won't do any good. Normally, at this point, the event would end. It would say, you've destroyed the region, good job, whatever. Um, Oh, I see. Yeah. So I actually did more damage to this than I thought. It's just I could still see a lot of the glass and stuff. Anyway. So yeah, this region has been pretty heavily damaged, right? <clears throat> so, if you're the owner of this region, uh, you log in, and maybe you see the damage, or perhaps you see something that looks like... That! Um, so there's going to be some kind of a beacon. I don't know if it's going to look exactly like this. This is what I'm toying with. Uh, but you'll, you'll be able to see it really clearly because of the beacon. Uh, and then you'll go over here. You can see who did it, right? So who you need to go get revenge on when they did it. And you'll, and this is the sign that you use to actually repair it. And this will be in like a different font and stuff. Uh, but uh, this is what it'll basically look like. So you right-click on this, and then it deducts the money from your account, uh, if you can afford it. It repairs the region, and it gives you back ownership, because it will have taken away the ownership. Um, and let me show you uh, that repair in just one moment. All right, so what I did is I just... Uh, copied the schematic that it creates from the region repair states folder to the world edit folder. It's as simple as that. Uh, and normally this, the plugin would do this automatically, uh, but if something goes wrong, you can have an admin restore the region for you because it keeps all of these files. And let's see if I got it right. Yes, I did. And well, let's do it out there. Oh, that'll take forever. Okay. 
Um, and then it would repair it for you. Uh, it'll be a lot faster because I'll be using Movecraft code to replace everything. But yeah, there it goes. And so it would repair it, the beacon would disappear, and everything's back to the way it was. <clears throat> and then you can presumably go get revenge on whoever did this. So there you have it. That's how it's supposed to work. It's almost there. I'd say I'm probably three quarters of the way done, but it's getting really late on Saturday, and it's like, ah, oh, I gotta get a video out, so... So here you have it, little teaser for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think of this feature. Uh, g give me some comments. And uh, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm sure there will be more. And uh, I will see you next time.